Hello everyone, this is Marty Rizmanath, and I just want to say first, welcome to Module 2 of the Challenge. By now, Kenny Goodman's shown you all the things you need to know about getting a good domain, and I'm sure you're thinking about that. The good news is by the end of this week, the end of Module 2, you'll have your website set up and ready to go with content on it. But before we get into that, I want you to understand some of the choices that you're making. This is the third year in a row that we're recommending that you use a free WordPress Direct account to install and manage your blog. And there's several good reasons to do that. So let me get into those and explain those to you now. So in this short video, I'm going to cover three main things. First, what WordPress Direct does for you. The second is updates for this year that we've added for the challenge. And the last is a brief tour of WordPress Direct just so you can understand what it does. So let's talk about what WordPress Direct does. First off, it creates your website from the keywords that you've uh, researched in Market Samurai. And you can choose from over 1,500 themes in our theme gallery so that you can match a look for your site with something that makes sense for your keywords so that when a visitor comes to your site, it looks like everything was thought out and put together and makes sense. Uh, the reason for doing this is so that you can get free traffic. Uh, WordPress Direct blogs are search engine optimized so that they will rank well in Google and Yahoo and other search engines so that you can get free traffic. So why is it important to get free traffic? That typically you get, I think the number one site statistically gets somewhere around 40% of all of the traffic uh, as far as clicks go. So if you had to pay, say, 50 cents a click and uh, you were getting 1,500 searches a day, um, that would be a lot of money you would be paying for that traffic. So getting it for free is a very valuable thing if you can research the niche and position yourself to receive that free traffic by getting in the search rankings. So why wouldn't you just do that yourself using WordPress blog and, uh, and a bunch of SEO plugins? Well, you can, uh, but the point is that WordPress Direct uh, saves you time and for the purpose of the challenge it's free. Uh, so not only does it save you time, but it eliminates errors because this is tricky business. If you um, get several things wrong or even just a few things wrong, you can kill your entire search engine optimization. And what we're trying to do is give everybody the greatest chance at success on getting on the first page of Google and getting that free traffic. And many people will get halfway through the challenge and even abandon their first site and put up the second site and have that site be the one that actually um, proves to be the, the, the best market for them. Another thing WordPress Direct does for you is it makes your sites easy to maintain. Um, there are a lot of uh, bells, whistles, and settings inside WordPress, especially as you start adding plugins. And the whole point of WordPress Direct is you want to be able to put up a site in a market, test it, and leave it there if it's successful, and allow you to make money from that free traffic. And in fact, if you get good at this process, you'll want to do this over and over and over again for different niches. And so WordPress Direct is designed to scale your business so that you can have several sites even in one niche and in fact have several niches. This is why we have these premium accounts um, that allow you to have 10 sites, 20 sites, 100 sites, um, so that you can occupy several niches and make money from all of them. And so the whole point of WordPress Direct is it's not only optimized for search engines, but it's also optimized for marketing. It's optimized for putting up a blog that allows you to talk about a product or service in a way that will get traffic to your offers for that product or service. Now, before I cover the changes for this year, I want to talk about the changes we made for last year because we leveraged some of those changes further this year. Um, the first was we made the installation process easier. We got rid of uh, a path variable that people would have to put in and everybody was getting confused by that. Um, and that installation process is still the same as last year now. Um, we added integration with Market Samurai and that integration um, eliminated a whole lot of steps that people had to do manually in the, in the challenge copying and pasting between Market Samurai and WordPress Direct. And you're going to see from these videos we're leveraging that integration even further. We added some uh, more flexibility as far as being able to upload your own files, themes, and plugins last year. Um, that has stayed the same. And our link and banner management uh, that we added last year is still the same in this year's challenge as well. Now for this year, we've made several other improvements. First off, uh, we've gone through the theme gallery that originally uh, was posted back in 2008. 
and we've made a pretty massive update. We took our entire uh, staff and did a uh, three-day manual review of all of the themes, cleaned out anything that had any um, potential issues as far as rendering in different browsers or um, extraneous links, things like that. Anything that was suspect got removed. And then we went through and started um, using actually uh, WordPress.org theme submission as our basis for getting uh, adding new free themes into the library uh, that you can use. We find that the review process that WordPress itself actually goes through yields the cleanest themes uh, with the least problems. So we've added about 300 of those into our gallery uh, this year. Next, we've updated the uh, SEO plugin mix uh, that WordPress Direct is, is using. Um, this uh, is a, we sat down for a few hours, myself, Guru Bob, and Dan Rain, and came up with the optimal plugin mix for everything we wanted to accomplish in the challenge. Not only are we using um, better SEO plugins uh, to improve the ranking and get faster ranking this time around, We've also added in things that uh, you're going to be doing in the challenge for getting uh, people to like your blog and Facebook and other things like that that are part of the standard plugin mix that you're going to be using. So when you install a site this year in the challenge, the actual WordPress site you're going to get is going to be uh, different than last year's site. It's going to have this uh, updated plugin mix. There's there's probably double the number of plugins that we had last year, and so this is. Everybody in the challenge is going to be benefiting from this this year, and you're going to see how we use those new plugins throughout the videos in the challenge. Uh, we've also added a new feature for plugin management and deployment. So this is mainly for people who continue on with us and become paid members. If you're going to be managing 10, 20, 100 sites in WordPress Direct, and you want to be able to push a plugin uh, to all hundred of your sites, this is going to be the way that you're going to do it. No longer will you have to go one by one and update the plugins on your sites. This is just something that users have been requesting that we've added this time around um, so that you'll get the benefit of it if you want to try something out during the challenge or afterward. Uh, next, uh, another big request is better integration with Google Analytics. Um, uh, later in this module, I believe, Emily Becker will be covering that uh, and showing you exactly what we're doing to integrate with Google Analytics. And then we've uh, done a big improvement in the site migration upgrade and cloning tools. Uh, we actually had a migration uh, tool before, and we've uh, expanded it so that people can use that to upgrade their sites to the latest edition of WordPress and, um, and also clone their sites to other domains and other hosting accounts. Um, now this is more advanced strategies, we're not really going to cover that in the challenge, but the one thing we will use these tools for in the challenge is when we get into evaluating your site and potentially selling it, you would use those site migration tools to actually transfer the ownership of the site uh, to the new owner's hosting account if you were to sell your site. So let me take this time now just to give you a brief tour of WordPress Direct. Okay, to start the tour, I'm going to show you what the example site looks like. This is a blog about um, uh, controlling your weight, and it uh, markets a green tea extract um, for for doing just that. And so you can see this uh, this blog um, has articles about um, uh, weight reduction and specifically the way green tea extract uh, supports that and then it has various banners about that. So in uh, WordPress Direct, what that looks like is um, when you get into WordPress Direct, <clears throat> the two main things you'll want to do are install sites or see your list of sites to manage. Uh, those are the two uh, big red buttons in the top right corner. Um, whenever you choose any of the sites in your list, you'll see an area that looks a lot like this where you can control the settings. Uh, these are typed in the first time you start your, your uh, the first installation that you do. You'll be typing these in when you do the installation of the site. And we will show you um, exactly how to do that in the next video. We will also show you how to add your first article to your blog um, and then also how you can manage all of the articles on the blog uh, including making uh, certain articles stick to the top of the blog so that they're always uh, at the top. But the very first thing that you're going to be encountering uh, when we get into the installation is going to be our theme gallery. So let me show you how that works before uh, we do any more uh, about showing you how to get set up with an account. 
Now when you first see the theme gallery, you're going to notice that there are three tabs at the top. One is for favorites. As you go through and you find themes, you're going to want to mark your favorites so that it's a lot easier for them to find since uh, you, uh, you know, you're going to spend some time looking through those 1500, 1600 themes and, and finding ones that you like. And so if you, are, if you uh, basically bookmark them and, and save them as your favorites, you'll be able to get to them a lot easier. We have what's called a recommended themes area. This is a portion of the themes um, that uh, in our testing our support team has had very uh, consistent results with so that they know we know these themes are very reliable so we suggest that anybody working in the challenge start with one of these recommended themes to do your site um, and uh, when you search for themes for instance if you do a search for blue um, you will see that um, we find uh, one page worth so there's what uh, five blue themes inside the recommended themes. Whereas if you click on all themes and you do a search for blue, you're going to get um, 12 pages of themes that uh, have are tagged with the word blue. So um, note that when you do a search, the search is sensitive to which tab is highlighted at the top. Um, so if you um, do a search and you don't get any results, make sure that you have the all themes checked or the all themes tab active uh, to give you the broadest range uh, for you to find your theme. Um, however, we do recommend that you use the recommended themes um, to get started with your first site if you've never done this before. I hope this video helped you to understand why WordPress Direct makes it easier for you to get your challenge site up there so you can test your market. And uh, I hope you uh, have great success with the tool and that you enjoy using it. Uh, if you like this video, then you can find other videos about the challenge at uh, the address listed challenge.co. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to sign up for your free WordPress Direct account.